in South County, but you talk about a question for congestion. What are, while you are driving on I-5 in South Orange County, would you say traffic congestion and traffic slowdowns occur often, seldom, or almost never? My point is that we keep talking about South Orange County, and that's the premise of your your questions. But then in the third, let's see, in the 7C question, You talk about the Beltway, and you say the advantage is it would uh, connect the 241 to the 73 to Job Center. You said the disadvantage is that it would do nothing to relieve northbound and southbound traffic congestion on I-5 bottleneck near Sacramento, and it would require the use of eminent domain to take many homes. So I jumped a little bit ahead, but quickly on the on the bottleneck part of I-5. Are you aware of the OCTA project that's been ongoing for three years at, at uh, between Beach Cities and Pico to relieve just that same bottleneck? Well, it, we, we, reference, we, we reference improvements in the do-nothing option, and we, we make the argument specifically there that some people uh, believe that the improvements that have been made, and I assume that's kind of what you're referencing here, uh, would, would be sufficient. Uh, and, and therefore the best option, because we don't want to spend the money, we don't, uh, we, we don't want to inconvenience any convenience same committee, the best option would be to do nothing. And you saw the results, comparatively speaking, of that do nothing option. So we did uh, indirectly reference improvements in that part. Yes. Okay. So it's just interesting that, that that bottleneck, you're telling people in this that it will do nothing to help the bottleneck when, in fact, we have a construction project underway to help with that bottleneck. So San Clemente feels that questioning is, is ambiguous and, and is misleading the poll. Uh, one of the things that I mentioned, the reason I brought up the fact that you start out in South Orange County so often, you then go to a question where you say the county population growth is going to grow by 400,000 in the county. And you bring up Rancho Mission Viejo building 14,000 homes in the same sentence. Isn't that true that that misleads people, if you're talking to them about South Orange County, that South Orange County is going to grow by 400,000 people? No, we didn't say that. That's what the we said the county is going to grow by 400,000. But it's And in the Rancho, uh, in, in that growth area, there's going to be 14,000 homes. Uh, all, all of those we believe to be reasonably correct. But yes, and, and I, think, I think in defense of, of that question, we can say that obviously uh, growth anywhere in uh, Orange County in the north and the east and, and anywhere connected to toll roads is going to have some amount of effect on, on uh, traffic on the 5 going to San Diego and uh, result in some uh, congestion unless uh, that, that do-nothing option uh, of we have done enough to solve those problems into the future unless that's true and we specifically tested that variable. Well, I wanted to let you know, and the public know, the San Clemente, we thought that question was misleading by talking about South Oak Orange County exclusively, and then throwing in there that the county is going to grow by 400,000. It leads people on taking the poll to believe, we're going to have 400,000 more people. We've got to do this. And yet, you're talking about trying to fix something in South Orange County. So that that's what we thought was, was not a valid question. If we're adding 400,000 I agree, but this is getting people cold calling on the phone, like you said before, and they're not thinking like that. They're trying to figure out what a through box is and things like that. So my last question, and it goes to uh, support of the through pass, and it's uh, 10A. I'm sorry, because I have to find this. Many in favor of the through pass say that because of the toll road travels down the median of I-5, it will reduce traffic congestion on I-5 <coughs> without adding any new traffic to I-5 
or to send to any surface streets. Furthermore, it will do so with minimal intrusion on the environment or the city of San Clemente. Besides removing the bottleneck, the through pass will provide an alternate route to I-5, especially during emergencies. Now, knowing what you know, that the through pass has no on and off ramps, no exits, no on ramps, how does that through pass provide emergency relief? How is the city of San Clemente going to get on that to go to a hospital? Well, if there was an emergency, we're referencing that then my understanding is that toll roads can then be uh, used for emergency travel. So if, if somebody uh, if it needs to be used, it can be used uh, for, for some portions of the county. And it certainly allows for traffic on five to leave uh, I-5 going north to pick up uh, a toll road at some point north of San Clemente and, and go to the go to the northeast. So uh, it would have some use in an emergency. I would say that no one in San Clemente is going to be able to get on it to go to the northeast. Oh, no, and, 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 and I didn't say it was an individual emergency. I said an emergency. So who would benefit well, maybe? The toll road would have been would be available not, to us in an emergency if it, there wasn't, say, a fire on it where we couldn't get on it. I'm stating the fact that we could not get on it, and people in the study did not know that this did not have any on ramps or off ramps. And so, to me, the validity of the study Biased. and saying that it's necessary for emergencies is very questionable. And I question whether you think Beyond. it's a valuable, a, a valid, and reliable I'm study. Outside. I think because of the confusion of the through pass and the issue with the on-ramps and off-ramps and exactly how it's going to go. And especially since you told people because it goes through the median of San Clemente, it won't do any damage to San Clemente, when in fact it's miles of toll road cutting through our city to get to that median. So in fact, it will have uh, detriment to San Clemente. And I think the people that took this poll, I believe that they were honest and tried to answer the questions. I think if they had known that, they would have answered it this way. So that's all it 